Kubor Nagashlem to Nongsan Hima. U MLA ka Congress na mawati constituency uba Charles Marngar, ula bu jingkeli u Menteri Badai Pet ika tanat jelek kai ka sorkar jela uba Shaklier Warjeri. Namar balai lamang pisa markat jo haka scheme Chief Minister's Youth Development Fund jong stem arjar arpulai arpusau yaga ribhoi district kabadan hadu santli ki constituency bat ki wei ki district ki badan tang ar ne lai teli ki constituency. Haba jubab yaka jingkeli kabala wanra do ba Charles Marngar haka kenta keli jingkeli kabala long mentak sengi ka arpu hunyo terik urum pang arjar arpusau haka dorbar mang tengka U Menteri Badai Pet ikan tanat jelek kan ibu bapa syakliar wajri ulah jubah bahkan dia ke jing mang pisa Kim Ken ya ke jing don jong ki constituency Henry ki Shim ya ke jing don jong ki club bat ki organisation ki bala penerum kerteng ya ki deputy commissioner jong ki district ibu bapa syakliar uli atoru bala mang pisa hadu San Clor San Paul lak tingka ya ke Chief Minister's Youth Development Fund jong senam arzal arpu lai arpu sao kat ba Ya ke DC Shillong Batura Lamang Mar Lai Pau Lak Tengka Kat Baki Wai Pat Ki District Lamang Mar Khat Nyo Lak Tengka Naga Benta Ban Penlong Ya Ki Program Da Pair Ba Pair Honorable Speaker Sir Reply to start question number 168 Sir, an amount of rupees 5 crores 50 lakhs Only was sanctioned for implementation of Chief Minister's Youth Development Scheme during the year 2023-24 Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Supplementary, please. May I know from the Honourable Minister in Charge, Sports and Youth Affairs, how much fund allocated to each district? Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir. Sir, the fund allocated to each district is uh, to the DC of uh, Shlong and Pura, so it's 30 lakhs, and uh, the remaining districts, sir, uh, I think it's about uh, 17 lakhs, sir. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. May I know from the Honorable Minister, what are the special schemes and innovative schemes proposed exceeding 50,000 rupees? Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, schemes as in applied through CMYDS, which, yes. Okay, sir, I have the list with me, sir, but it's a very long list, sir. Uh, so we have a... Just tell me what type of schemes. Oh, sir, be it any schemes, but it has to be youth-centric. Be it any schemes, but it has to be youth-centric. It has to be related to the youth. Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, may I know from the Honorable Minister in charge? Some district, we have, uh, as mentioned by the Honorable Minister, Iskas Hills and uh, uh, Tura have given uh, 30 lakhs, and others district, 70 lakhs each. And so 17 lakhs, no? And may I know from the Honourable Minister, uh, this is this happened only this uh, year 2023, or you have specific guidelines for the district? So we, this is uh, for the year 2023-24. Uh, so we don't have a specific guidelines that states that we can only disburse, let's say, uh, like I said, 30 lakhs for uh, Dura and Shillong. But, sir, uh, it depends, sir, since uh, uh, East Kasi is a very huge district as well as Tura, one of the main towns. So that's the main reason, sir, we have distributed more funds to them. Thank you. Uh, why I'm asking this question, sir? Because, see, some district having two constituencies, three constituencies. And in Riboy district, we have uh, five constituencies. So that's why I'm asking these questions. If the department can, you know, uh, give these uh, schemes, uh, CM, CMYDF as per the, you know, the number of 
the consultancy wise i think this is uh, will be benefited to the youth of our district since our district the district also is one of the biggest we have five consultancy so any intention did the government have any intention to you know uh, to review this uh, the allocation of the schemes uh, mr speaker sir i understand the concern of the honorable uh, mla but sir the allocation of funds is based on the number of organizations or uh, clubs that have been registered with the concerned district administration with the dc so based on that sir we release the funds so it's not the constituency wise but based on the number of uh, organizations or clubs that have registered in the dc sir thank you <laughs> one more supplementary question sir um, i know from the honorable minister what is the major programs that the sports department through this cmydf scheme has been conducted the major programs may i know from the number so we have conducted a lot of programs sir but i can name a few so we have conducted under this particular scheme we had conducted singing programs in this consuming dance essay writing extempore speech and debate quizzing coding and technology painting or drawing craft theater and other notable and unique skills Pardon, please. Uh, sir, may I know from the Honorable Minister uh, whether this CMYDF can be rooted through uh, MLAs because the scheme, the uh, ISYDP, is too small an amount, sir, 3 lakhs, and we have um, numbers of uh, sports clubs, organizations in our constituency. So if this can be rooted, it will be a great help for the MLAs to deal as far as the issue of sports is concerned. Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, so the guidelines for this uh, CMYDS is that, sir, anything uh, up to the amount of 2 lakhs is rooted through the district administration. And above 2 lakhs to 5 lakhs, it's with the directorate. And above 5 lakhs, sir, it's with the Department of Sports and Europe. So it's not rooted through the MLA. But uh, we have a guideline here that has to be through these three committees.